Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So, today's video we are going to do a thrift haul. It is a massive thrift haul, so it's probably going to be a long video. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. So, there's so much stuff I don't even know where to begin. You want to start with, do you want to show me your slides? We went to two thrift stores. We went to Goodwill and we went to Volunteers of America. She got these 66. Um, black fuzzy slides. I mean, they're like brand new. They haven't even been worn, but they were like, yeah, three, three ninety nine or something like Please. that. Um, I'll try to mention prices, but everything's just kind of jumbled together, so it would be like a huge pain to try to get everything from one store. And if I don't say the prices, then my bad, yo. But I found these vintage Pyrex um, jar things. These are from the 70s. I looked them up. Um, but yeah, they're super cute. They're like in perfect condition. I love them. I'm not like the biggest fan of this color, but I am a big fan of vintage and I'm a big fan of Pyrex, so why not? And they were like a dollar, so. Acacia found these um, unicorn lights for her room. We don't know what color they light up yet because we haven't. Um, LED lights, they change. These came from Volunteers of America and they were $2.52. Um, I also found this adorable honey jar. This is so freaking cute, and it comes with the little honey thing. It's just so cute. I mean, I probably won't actually use it for honey, but just for decoration Decoration in the kitchen. I think that is so cute. By Winnie the Pooh. And it was $1.99, and I don't know if this is vintage either. Um, I haven't really looked into it, but I mean, it's cute. And then we got a few pieces for Cage's room that we're going to um, fix up and paint, but they go with her whole like aesthetic in her room. But we found this little shelf with a heart. And we'll probably paint it pastel pink. Uh, this was 99 cents at the Goodwill. And then we found this picture frame. This is so cute. And you can put three pictures in it. And we're probably going to paint this pink too. This was $3 at um, Volunteers of America. But yellow it. was half off. So we got half off of the $3. This is probably the, my favorite thing that I found. We found this at Volunteers of America. It's a cookie jar. I didn't know that the lid came off. Um, it's pastel colors all over. So, so cute. I don't know if this is vintage either. Just have to look it up. This was $4, and then I got half off of that. So $2 for this. But even if it's not vintage, it looks vintage, and it's just so cute. This is my favorite thing ever. Oh, my God. It's this so cute. I love this so much. Besides the unicorn. So we found some more Disney VHS tapes. And then I think there's a couple that's not Disney, too. But I'm really just trying to collect, like, the Disney ones. But we found oh Beauty and the Beast um, Special Edition. Wizard of Oz. Ooh, I so. this is like one of my favorite favorite movies ever, so I had to get that one. You can hang to me. The Sound of Music is another one of my favorites, so I had to grab that. Hunchback of Notre Dame's Disney, so I had to grab that. 101 Dalmatians. This movie, okay, All Dogs Go to Heaven. This was my favorite 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 movie as a kid and I still love it so much. I got two favorite movies. And this then we had to grab two. this one. They had like seven of these, but this was like, this one was in like immaculate condition. It's like perfect. But this is Acacia's favorite movie, so she's just going to set this up in her room. Yeah. These we actually found at a different thrift store, the, the thrift store um, in my town that we always go to. But we found um, a Minions DVD. It's just got, it's got seven mini movies on it. And then we found two Paw Patrol DVDs. Um, and then I found a few things for some DIYs. I always try to pick stuff up um, when I find it that I could always use later. I found this burlap, a big old oh, roll <laughs> of burlap. And then I found this. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Um, it's just like little teeny tiny pearl beads. I thought those would be cute for DIYs. Can you take them out? I found two rolls of this um, black and white polka dot ribbon. It's so cute. There's a lot there too. Um, these were two for a dollar, two bags for a dollar at the Goodwill. I picked these up for some Easter DIYs. 
Um, I found this cute, actually Kasia found this, this cute um, photo album. It just looks so vintage and I cute. It. I love the lace. And it's got a pink ribbon to tie it closed. But yeah, it's just a photo album. Um, I did, I'll show some clips of some bigger ones that I found. We actually found two at the Goodwill, and then I think we found three at Volunteers of America, and they were all so cute, but Weird. like the lace part um, was like stained, and there's no way to wash it. And then the other three were like personalized or something. I can't remember exactly they why. On it. But they were all so, so cute and vintage looking. Like the black it's and pink so together cool. just looks really cute. I love it. I love how vintage and cute it looks. Cute. I'm happy. So cute. Me up in here. I cute. found this at Volunteers of America. This was it looks a like a shower. 151. <laughs> I don't understand what's with the strange prices, but this is a napkin holder, and it's just got um, white hearts all over it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's super vintage looking, and it's a little dingy. But I got it because these um, rods come out, and then you can wash this. But it's so cute, and it would look really cute with all my other kitchen stuff. Um, so we found this piggy bank for Acacia, and it's got the um, the stopper and everything in it. This was three fifty three. I paid three fifty three for this. Oh my goodness! But it's really cute. It's it says Girls Night Out Fund, and it's just got like lipstick and. Um, a pretty dress. It's got a beverage over here that will pretend is not alcoholic. But it's just cute. It's really cute. <laughs> and then I got this mug for Easter. It's so cute. How adorable is this? It looks I like love that. <laughs> I love how cute this is. This was 90 cents and yellow was what? No, yellow was 50% off and pink was 75% off. So I got 50% off of 90 cents for that mug. Um, Kasia has quite the collection of bags. So this is one of them. They're making their purses so expensive. Like $10 for a purse. But then they want to put the most expensive thing is $1. But that's really cute. This is a really cute purse. She likes the, like, the crossbody. I haven't worn that one yet. I only wear the black ones. This one, it's really cute. It's got the little tassel zipper that's really cute. And then the tassels in the front, and then it's got like a smaller handle here, and then the crossbody one. I think that one this one's really cute too. It's just white, but it's got the black and white polka dots on the inside. All of these were in super good condition too. Then it's just got like a pocket in the back. Lots of pockets on the inside. She's got all of her junk in there. This is the one she's using right now, and this is really cute. It's just black. That was like five dollars really cute it's got like the tufted look and like then the gold metal chain and then it's got the little twisty thing and then that's the inside and then she's got this little gray one it's almost like a wallet just like a big wallet with a strap and then there's another pocket in the back and this one right here is both of our favorites this is so cute the strap doesn't go to it though it's just a gold purse and then it's got the big old bow on it. The only thing that can fit in there is my phone. This matches this perfectly. Did this have a strap with it? Mm -mm. Really? And then, oh, the inside's really cute, too. This is the C in it. I don't know if you can, if it picks up on camera, but there's like a really cute design in there. I don't know who made all these. I didn't even look. Strap bow. I don't know what the C stands for. Wait, doesn't Charming Charlie's have that C on everything? This. If you guys know the C right here, is that Charming Charlie? If you guys um, know, comment down below. And this one, yeah, like none of these have names on them. This says Lulu. This is Lulu too. Lulu Guinness, that's who this one's by, Lulu Guinness, this one is too. So both of these are from Lulu Guinness. I don't, I've never heard of it, but obviously they make pretty cute bags. So we also found this, this is really cute too. This was $3.99 at the Goodwill, it's really big. It's this big wooden bow. Um, right now it's pastel yellow, we're gonna paint it pink. Yeah, so we're gonna make it all pretty in pastel and hang it up maybe above one of our windows or something. <gasps> I found these two super cute hand towels. They're very vintage looking. They probably are vintage, actually. I'm not sure. But um, 
This one's just got pretty pastel colors on it, and then you just um, put it over your oven handle and button it. And then I got this one. My eyes just got really watery. The top's got polka dots, and it's got the pretty pastel pink. I got this vintage cookbook. I like the design on it. Do I have it upside down? I do have it upside down because I'm simple. But this, I just thought it was really cute. Um, it doesn't have the um, the paper over it. I liked the way that it looked without it anyways. I thought it was really cute. But this book is from 1974. So, super cute. You could tell by the colors that it's from the 70s. And I got this scale just for decoration. It actually works, but um, I just got it for decoration purposes for the kitchen. Um, I did look these up. This specific one is vintage. This is from Taylor Stainless Steel. I'm pretty sure this is vintage. Um, it was actually really hard to look these up because there's so many different kinds, but this one that looks exactly like this that's from the Taylor Stainless Steel was vintage. It was like from the 70s, I think, but I just like it. I think it's cute. Just like everything else. And then we found some board games. We love board games. Oh, these are all vintage board games that we found, so. Except for the Simpsons. I'm pretty sure that one is too, actually. From probably from the 80s. We got this. I don't know if you guys, if any of you guys remember this from when you were a kid, but this is like the um you can build it and then put the marbles in it. Um, but this is vintage. I actually did look this up. I looked all these up actually, except for the Simpsons one. <laughs> oh, oh, here's the scale. Um, the scale is selling for $67 on Amazon. The, this game is vintage. Um, apparently I didn't um, do my research very well because I thought I had screenshotted everything, but I didn't. I want to say this is from the 80s, but this is going for $15 on eBay. I didn't look this one up, but this is from, oh, this is from the 80s, and I just thought the box was really cute. It's called Don't Talk to Strangers. It's a, um, like it's got flashcards and stuff in it with questions on it, and then um, the kids are supposed to answer it, and it's basically just to teach your kids not to talk to strangers. But yeah, it's super cute, it's super vintage looking. I did not research this one because we just got it. You but. are riding a bike and you get a flat tire. A stranger stops his car and asks if you need help, what do you do? A, ask for a ride to the gas station. B, ask the stranger to watch your bike while you get help. C, ask the stranger to call your house. Or D, run and scream no, stranger ask danger. Ask the stranger to watch your bike while you go get help. And then we got this one. Okay, this one's 2001, so not vintage, but it's The Simpsons, so we thought it was really cool. And this game is actually really confusing. Yeah, it was hard. Me and Keisha tried to play it. Basically, uh, if you lose, you win. So the, the whole object of this game is to not win. So it was really uh, confusing. So this is the last board game that we got. This is also from the 80s, and this is... Um, one of the original Risk. I also love this box. I love the look of vintage board games. I think they're so cool looking. But all of these games have all the pieces. This one looks like it has never even been touched. Like, it's in such good condition. Oh. Mm-hmm. What are these? Those are the game pieces. Wait, what? For what? I counted all the pieces and made sure everything was there and everything was there. I found two records. Um, they're both Ooh. Christmas records. They were like 50 cents at um, Volunteers of America, and I got them just for one because I love Christmas music, especially on vinyl. I love the way it sounds, but um, I just really thought that the covers were really cute. This one is called Happy Holidays, and it's got um, Lana Control, Perry Como, um, Bean Crosby, um, John Gary. Eugene or Mandy, Jan Pierce. <laughs> um, and then I got this one. This one is Wonderland of Christmas. And I just, I love the illustrations. Oh, here's a picture there, everybody. Yeah. Okay, so the, for the Happy Holidays, these are um, the artists. And this one was actually 60 cents, but I mean, you can't beat that. And then this one, I'll take the plastic off so there's not a glare. Oh, that much of a glare, but I just this, this is so, so cute. It's just got a bunch of um, vintage Christmas tree ornaments on it. 
And there's lots of classics on here. Jingle Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Jingle Bells, Santa Jingle Claus is Coming to Jingle Town, Jingle. Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, uh, Let It Snow, It's Beginning to Look Like Christmas, The First Noel, um, Oh Come All Ye Faithful, Winter Wonderland, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus, I'm going to love this, White Christmas, um, Joy to the World, Holy Night, Deck the Halls, so yeah. I'm excited about that. I'll probably listen to them before Christmas is even here. Probably gonna go put them in right now. So we're gonna get into clothes, but this is hers. It's just a little um, crop. It's from uh, whatever jacket. Forever Twenty One. Yep, from Forever Twenty One, and it's just uh, this is very '70s looking too, actually. But it's got um, brown, orange. There's even See? a little bit of blue in it. It's just a little crop jacket. Um, and then she found herself a Christmas sweater with a llama on it. It's pretty cute. Soft. Yeah, I wish you guys could feel it. It's really soft. You can probably tell. She got herself a robe. This is super soft, too. It's pastel blue with owls on it. And then she found a pair of pajama pants. These are super soft, too, and they're really cute. And then I got two pairs of shoes. These were 99 cents. There's literally no label in these. Um, but anyways, they're just these pink um, little tennis shoes, these little sneakers. Um, they kind of remind me of like Keds or, you know, them kind of shoes. But they're so cute. I love these. And yeah, for 99 cents, they're in pretty good condition. And I got me these slides. These are like my white ones. These are also brand new. You can tell they've never been worn. These were $2.99. They were in the... But, um... They still had the little hook and everything on it. I had to cut them all off. They're rose gold. Yeah, they were still in, like, the shoe hanger thing and everything, like, brand new. But, um, they're rose gold and they're, like, velvet. And I love the ruffles. These are just so girly and adorable. I love those. The last few pieces from this thrift haul are some clothes that I got for myself. Um, I was specifically looking for like dresses and rompers for the spring and summertime, so that's what I got. I picked um, these out for her because she has like 50 this dresses. This dress, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And it's Both of them will go cute with the shoes. White and lace on the top, and then the bottom is pink and just really flowy. Uh, it goes probably right about the knees in the front and then just a tiny bit longer in the back. But I love that length. Like right above the knee is like my favorite length for like a dress. But how oh, like cute dresses. is this? It's so cute. And then it only zips like midway and then buttons on the top. So it's just kind of open in the back. And then this romper, this is so cute. I really didn't think I would like the way this looked when I tried it on, but I ended up loving it. I tried it on too. It's so cute. It really looks like a dress when you put it on. It's really short, but it's super girly. It's got all these pastel colors in it. It's flowy. And then this ties into a bow off to the side or in the front, however you want to tie it, but it's and super cute. And then we'll cute. too. And you can wear it off the shoulder or up on your shoulders, but I can't wear it off my shoulders because then it just kind of falls. But it's super cute and flowy. I got this dress I really love. Oh, let me see if I can find out who these are made by. This pretty dress is from 
Bye Bye. This is American Eagle. This one's Bye Bye. And this one's American Eagle. The romper is American Eagle. This pretty dress is from Delia's. But this is what it looks like. This one's also short. It's really flowy, and then it's cinched at the waist and then baggy on the top. It almost looks like a two-piece set when you have it on, like a shirt tucked into a skirt, but it's super cute. And then the last one, oh, I love this. This is from Candies, and it's this black and brown lace. It's full lace all the way down. This is probably the shortest one that I have. And, and then there's this big old bow in the back, and the back is open. I love that. It's so cute and flowy and lacy. Yeah, I love you lace. Love everything. I love lace and floral and flowy and everything just girly i love ruffles That was everything. That was huge. That was everything that we got. We do plan on doing a lot more thrifting in the next few days. Um, and we want to hit up some actual antique shops too. So we'll have those. We did go to Walmart and Walgreens and got um, some clearance and some non-clearance things from there. So we will do that too. But yeah, so that was everything that we got for this thrifting haul. I hope you guys liked it. But yeah, so, um, what am I trying to say here? If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.